hey guys welcome to Android guide in this video we are uh, going to review the slim room and uh, as you can see that uh, the this is an unofficial build and it is slim 6 and uh, the Android version is 6.2.1 and it comes in with the June security patch and I'm not using any custom kernel at the moment and the built-in kernel is enforcing as you can see then uh, next up um, you know as you can see that this is an USB based room and uh, and you know it, it is a really very lightweight room so don't expect that number of customizations but at the same time this room is one of the smoothest and the fastest room that you that you will ever come across and uh, you know I will just show you that uh, you know I don't know the name of the stock launcher which we get with this room but you do get ample number of customizations in here too you know you can show the search bar if you want to then you can adjust the grid size you know number of rows and columns then you can also adjust the icon size then next up we have the dock settings you know you can select the number of icons which should be there in the dock and you at the same time you can customize the icon size then we have the app draw settings you know you can either have the vertical style uh, uh, app drawer you know as we had in uh, and as we have in the google now launcher for android marshmallow and you know the page one is uh, through which you can flip the pages i will just show that to you um but because at the moment i don't have do that many apps i won't be able to show that to you but you know it is uh, to access other apps you just need to you know swipe across the screen to uh, get to the next page of of your apps um then uh, okay so then you can also adjust the grid size and you know, the number of rows and columns then we have the landscape grid size and at the same time you can adjust the icon size too then uh, we have the folders you can change the background color the icon text color the preview color and you can even hide the folder name if you want to then we have the gestures you know we get ample number of options in here too swipe up left middle right swipe down middle left and right then you know pinch in spread and double tap so great number of options here too i would just show you the options which are available um you know you can go to the default home screen open the app drawer show the show previews or open the launcher settings last app and you know under custom uh, on the custom apps you can customize the things as per your need um you know we also have the slim launcher shortcuts which are all apps overview mode launcher settings and the default home screen okay so some number of options great number of options in here too then uh, i guess we had uh, covered up gestures and now under the general settings you can allow rotation if you want to and at the same time you can uh, customize the icon pack too okay so um we'll have a look at the widgets which we get um you know we don't get uh yeah you know these this is the slim launcher widgets which we get you know you can customize all apps overview mode launcher settings or the default home screen so you know this is the overview mode and you know you can select the other options as per your choice okay and last is are your wallpapers you know these are the wallpapers which you get and next up um, you know as you can see that you don't get many number of apps in here but you do get audio effects to customize the audio uh, audio output of your speaker and headphones you know you can uh, play with that and uh, you know as you, as i've already told you that this is a very lightweight room and uh, so you don't have to expect that many number of features but at the same time it is a really very smooth room i you know i can guarantee that to you then under display you can adjust your brightness level adaptive brightness wallpaper sleep timeout settings press power button twice to launch the camera daydream lcd density um these are the options which we get you know my the default density for my phone is 240 and but they have given uh, they have set the density to 200 you know i didn't change that so um we also have the font size then uh, you know you can choose what happens when the device is rotated you can either rotate the entire contents of the screen or just stay in the portrait view then we also have cast in the end um next up we have sound and notifications um you know, nothing new in here i'll just go to other sounds we have the dial pad tone screen locking sounds charging sounds touch sound and vibrate on touch and then uh, um, storage and usb as you can see that this uh, you know this this is a very lightweight room so you can install more number of apps in in your in the system partition or in the internal storage 
um then you know uh you can enable the battery saver whenever you want to as this is as this room is based on aosp then uh, and it's a really very light lightweight room too and at the moment it is not even using half the ram so you know it's pretty smooth and fast then uh, under security you know you can you do have privacy guard which which has been imported from cyanogen mod so you know basically using privacy guard you can uh, you know uh, choose those apps which won't have access to your private data such as the call logs or messages and you know under advanced you can just uh, customize the other permissions too you know so suppose i don't want to um maybe i am searching for gallery here which would be a bit either okay let's choose settings um or maybe set titanium backup you know so you can just uh, adjust your permissions here suppose you know whenever is it allowed to read your contacts yes or no you can just choose that then is it allowed to modify the contacts and you can select the options as per you know allowed ignored or you can uh, you, you can get a pop up which would ask whether uh, if titanium backup wants to modify your contacts then read call log modify call log read sms and if you want if you want to choose whether or not your device should be uh, kept awake by that app uh, you know because certain apps such as internet browsers you know if you are downloading something in the background then they are bound to keep your uh, uh, device awake and you know at the same time it would drain your battery too because your phone won't be able to enter the deep sleep mode and then you know you can uh, choose whether it can toggle wi-fi or not and then uh, you know you can using privacy card the uh, the best feature i like about privacy card is that you can customize which apps should start on the on boot you know that is when your phone starts up or powers on then you know you can customize the location settings personal settings messaging settings media settings um you know vibrate notification to call call phone um then you know this the best part as i've already told you boot up you know you can uh, just select those apps which should start up at boot you know you can just have a look at the apps which are starting uh, which start which start when your phone powers on and you know if you don't want a certain app to start then you know you can just check this off and uh, that app then won't start when your phone is powered on so it would make the startup process of your device a bit faster and you know uh, at the same time if you want to disable the permission of the uh, if you don't want to allow that app to keep your device awake then you can check that off so uh, if you feel that uh, you know in some cases it, you know uc browser is known to be uh, a bit uh, you know uh, it sucks up uh, your battery a lot it is known for a lot many number of wake locks in fact unwanted wake locks i would say so you know you can use your privacy card to customize those settings of the of the apps which you think are you know keeping your device awake and draining your battery and not allowing your device to get into the deep sleep mode and uh, then you can you know you have your lock set lock screen settings and you know if you want to sideload any app then you should check the unknown sources option and uh, guys by default we don't get any file manager in here so you need to flash the g apps and get access to the play store or you know just uh, flash a f the zip file of a file manager you know you can find that on xta um nothing new in here then uh, um you know you uh, by default the uh, developer options are not enabled so you need to tap on the build number seven types as i just did and then you can enable the developer options and then you know you can so for root access you need to go into your developer options and enable this then uh, you know make sure that you also keep usb debugging on and it is on by default so if you mess up with your device then you can you know use your pc to flash the stock room or custom you know if your recovery gets corrupted then you know you can even use the fast boot mode to flash a recovery too so that's where usb debugging comes in um so nothing new in here as you can see you do have your animation settings in here and you also have the multi window mode here 
and then we have your GPU settings um, and nothing new so these are the options which we get in developer options so you know this room is pretty close to a stock room I would say and uh, um, no I don't think that you also get the system UI tuner in so yep the system UI tuner has been added to the settings and uh, you know you uh, We'll just have a look and see if we get certain number of options in here. Um, you know, these are the uh, tiles, the quick setting tiles, which are there by default. And if you want to add a tile, uh, you only have an option of a, of the broadcast tile, so you can just add that if you want. Or uh, next up, you ha you can choose the you know which uh, which icon should be shown on the status bar or not. Suppose at the moment the cast icon is being showed, so um, if I just check that off then it uh, you know you can no longer see that icon you know it is just next to the uh, network signal icon um, I check that back on again and it comes back again um, so no new options in here too then you can show the battery percentage if you want to um, you know at the moment my device is charging so you won't be able to see that but um, definitely you can choose that and then you also have a demo mode okay so guys that's all what we have in this room um you know it's based it's a purely usb based room so not many number of customizations but at the same time it's really very smooth and fast as i have told you so you know slim is known for that and uh, in fact slim 6 has just been released so you know you would be getting more options in the future too and uh, another thing which i have came across is that you know when you whenever you plug in your headphones in then you would be getting a notification as you can see headset plugged in and uh, you would also get a uh, get an icon in the status bar you know it's the second icon from the left as you can see so we do have that too so it's a great room and uh, i would recommend you to just give it a shot if you want a room which is uh, you know less which has less number of customizations and you want to go ahead and flash maybe exposed and you know play play around with that so that's up to you and uh, thanks for watching i hope that uh, you have subscribed to my channel if you haven't done that yet so i would uh, request you to go ahead and uh, do that if you want to watch more of my videos so go ahead if, and do that if you haven't and uh, if you like this video then do hit that thumbs up button so thanks for watching guys i will catch you in the next one thanks